Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live, sponsored by Gamel Quilting. I am Georgia Stull. I am from Raymore, Missouri, and I'm excited to be a part of the Gamel Education Team, bringing quilt information to Gamel Quilters all over the world through Facebook Live. Today, I'm going to share some tips about choosing thread colors. So, if you know me, you know I already can tell you I have a huge collection of thread. I love um, thread and there's so many beautiful colors but let's take the focus off of me and let's bring the focus down to uh, fabric and thread okay first thing I want to say is I generally want to make sure that I have enough lighting I love my gamel quilt bar, um, uh, light bar for this it gives me a lot of good lighting and I'm lucky to have a studio that has a good a lot of good lighting I will talk to my customer or think myself on my own quilts what is it I'm trying to do do I want to match threads do I want to coordinate threads or do I even want to contrast threads and we'll talk a little bit about each one of those the other thing I do is you know look at this spool of thread let me just tell you it's kind of scary there's a lot of color right there and if I let somebody see that they're like oh no I don't want that color so you know what I do I pull off a good yard of thread and then I tuck that thread underneath something whether it's a piece of batting or something else so I actually have three threads here and you're gonna probably have to visualize this a little since we're blending thread and we don't want we want to see texture we don't want to see the design so I you're, you're gonna to have to visualize exactly what but I want to lift the thread and allow it to pull onto the quilt top and what I'm looking for is how does it look on the lighter colors how does it look on the darker colors because remember if I'm blending I want it to kind of disappear so that's one thread and this other thread is right here and again on the lighter on the darker and then finally I have a third thread and on the lighter and darker and I can tell you right now immediately this lighter thread is way too light for me because it shows up so much on this on this dark fabric so guess what I'm going to take it right out of the equation and hide it there. I'm down to two. If I don't like these two, I have plenty more. But looking at this, this one I barely can see on the light. I barely can see on the dark. This one I barely can see on the dark. But I do see it more in the light. So this thread, let's see what it is. This thread is fog. And it's my choice for this quilt to blend in it's just a process sometimes I might want a thread to contrast and this is fabric I have maybe I want to do a whole cloth I have this beautiful cotton sateen and this is a totally contrasting thread but sometimes man it just makes something really pop and I absolutely can tell you right now I love golds on blacks um, if I have a black border, I, my go-to tends to be golds or, or even silvers and grays. Here's another quilt. And this quilt, I've already got three fabrics on here, or three threads on here. And, of course, I, I do tend to lean towards my golds when I want to blend. And blending means I want to see texture. I don't want to see a lot of thread. This one is one of my faves, but it's almost too bright. When I get onto this darker border because I want to use one thread I want to do an edge edge the fabrics are just too busy for me to really think it's worth the time to custom quilt so this one yeah it's way too bright one of my favorites but too bright this one has a little more brown in the gold and I really like it it doesn't scream at you here um, and and it doesn't here but you know what I also pulled in a light green and I worried that it might be too much over here, but there's enough green hues. It really isn't. And honestly, at this point, I think it's this very pale green. And I think it's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's called Willow. And so that's probably the one that I would choose for this. Now, many of you do applique quilts. And, of course, I don't have an applique quilt in the whole studio. So this is a printed fabric. And let's pretend that this is an applique and this is my background. So 
here's my goal, whether I'm stitching in the ditch or doing background quilting, my goal is to not see the thread. It really is. I, I don't want to see the thread. So I want my color to match as close as I can to this background, but I'm also going to go to a lighter, thinner, finer thread. And in this case, I love Micro Quilter by uh, Superior Thread. And if I lay this, let me pull off some of this. And remember, I'm not worrying about the applique. I'm just talking about the background. And I'm going to tell you, I bet you can hardly see that because I'm in person. I can hardly see it. So I can't recommend enough a micro quilter, a really fine thread. And it needs to match this background. That way you see texture. You don't see thread. And finally, another option that I have that I thought I would talk about these are um, Dream Big panels, and don't we love them? <laughs> and they're a great playground. And if, you, if you're if you a computerized quilter like I am, and you have a, a pedal, or I suppose even if you're a hand guider, um, you have a pedal, and it gradiates from green into yellow. So I, I tried going golds, and I didn't like it at all. But I tried this, and this is a green, which means it really matches here but it shows up a little more here. And the other one is just the opposite. It's a yellow, so it's gonna yell at you or be more bright here and kind of fade in more. You know what? I think I really like starting with the darker color at the bottom and then having it where it blends in, but then as it goes up, it's going to be more visible. Therefore, to me, it gives it a little bit more intensity. Same thing on this one. You see, I have oranges at the bottom and go into pinks. And I kind of think I would match the orange and then have that orange pop just a little bit more as it gets into the pink. And it, it just increases the intensity. Is there a right or a wrong? I don't really think so. I, I'm always thinking about what looks most pleasing to the eye and what accomplishes what I want with the quilt. Sometimes... I want the quilt, um, the thread color to disappear. I just want to see texture. Other times, the thread can be the star. That contrast can make all the difference. Don't be afraid. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not afraid of thread colors. I, I love um, having a variety of threads to get just the right look. And, you know, I know in the beginning it's hard. You may not have a lot of thread colors. But you know what? Every time I order thread, guess what? Still to this day, I throw in one, two, three new colors. Uh, my husband Ivan even popped in and picked out a few colors last time. Don't be afraid of color. It's really your friend and can make a quilt super special with the right thread choice. So, hey, my friends, let me get this camera back to me. And, and let me just say that I've appreciated and enjoyed having this little bit of time with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to follow Gamel on all of their social media pages so you can keep up to date with absolutely everything happening in the world of Gamel quilting. Happy quilting and stay safe, my friends. Bye now.